Hi guys, Melvin here from Neuron Digital. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be walking you through how to customize the server side of the Estate app template for Android. I'm going to be guiding you how to get all the necessary API keys from services such as Google Maps and Firebase. We're going to upload all the necessary files to a server and then we're going to use the admin page to add properties to the Android app. Okay, so we have the file that you just purchased from Code Canyon here, a state version one. I'm going to open it. Here we have the code that you need to import in Android Studio later on. For the Android app, we have some design files and the graphics as well. We have the documentation here, the server side code that we'll, we will be using shortly. And we have the SQL database that you need to import. So let's start with the database. I'm going to open my server panel. I'm going to SQL databases. And I'm going to create a new database. I'm also going to open the server side code. And I'm going to open this file here using Sublime Text. And we need to put in the database data in here. So let's start with the password. I'm going to input a random password. So let's just copy that. Okay, so I have added the database name and the username, and I'm going to click Add Database. I'm going to copy this host name here, and I'm going to put it here as well. Make sure you don't forget the greater than or, or smaller than signs here, because they will interfere with the functioning of the server. Okay, I'm going to save this file here and close it for now. And I'm going to open the database. Okay, so we have opened it in PHP my admin. I'm going to select this database and I'm going to import the SQL files file. So select that, click open, and click on go. And as you can see, all the tables here have been imported. So that's great. Let's minimize this for now and open the files once again. So now we need to import all these files here onto your server. So for this, I'm going to use FileZilla. So select all the files and just drag and drop to here. Make sure that you're connected via FTP to your server. Okay, so all the files have been uploaded to the server. We can now open the browser once again and I'm going to the URL where the server is located and I'm going to hit refresh. And as you can see, you will see the login page of the admin page. So the default credentials are admin and pass, P-A-S-S, -S, sign in. And as you can see, we have successfully logged in into the admin page. As you can see, we have an error here because the Google Maps API code isn't yet set up. So let's go ahead and create an API key for Google Maps. Go to this URL here and click on get, get a key. You can create a new project or use one of your projects. I'm going to create a new one. Okay, so I have my API key here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to open the server side code once again and open config.ini and I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to save once again, and I'm going to upload it to the server using FileZilla. Now, if you open the admin page again and click refresh, as you can see, 
the Google Maps is working. Let's now set up Firebase. So I'm going to open up the Firebase console. I'm going to click new project, estate temporary as well. And the first thing we need from here is to go to settings here, project settings. I'm going to cloud messaging and I'm going to copy the server key here and I'm going to paste it once again in configuration dot in a file, save the file once again, and I'm going to upload it to the server. I'm going to go to Firebase once again, and I'm going to click on notifications, and I'm going to enable notifications. So here you need to type in your Android package name. As an example, I'm going to use com.company.estate. Okay, so register app. We're going to download the Johnson file for later. We will be using this later for the Android app. So make sure to download it and keep it for later. And we're going to hit continue and finish. Now, if you go to the admin page once again, and we go to push notifications, if you have the Android app set up, you can now send messages from here. Okay, so we have two final things left to do. We need to open up config.in file once again, and we need to replace the server URL and the Twitter hashtag here. So just put in your Twitter attack here. And for the server URL, I'm just going to copy this part here and I'm going to put it in here. Save this file and transfer it to the server. Okay, so now that's all done. We can try to add a new property. So I'm going to put in test here. Test, we can set everything from here. Set a place on the map. And I'm going to click on save changes. So as you can see, the property has been successfully added. Feel free to move through these menus here to modify anything that you need. And when you're done, go to settings and make sure to change your passwords and username here to make it more secure. And that's all from the server side. See you again to customize the app in Android Studio.